Hello my beautiful Virgos, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller divine light and today I'm going to do a general coffee cup reading and this is going to be a timeless reading and take what resonates with you because it's going to be general like I mentioned. By the way, I'm going to pull some cards at the end of your reading to get some clarity to your questions if you have some specific questions in your mind. And also I'm offering private readings. You can go to the description box below and see my Etsy shop. And I want to mention, there's a sweepstakes for this week. I have this video, the weekly video. It says next seven days for this week. Um, go to that video, comment down below, hit subscribe, and just uh, just join the sweepstakes, the giveaway. I'm going to give two free coffee cup readings away, okay? Two lucky winners. All right, guys, let's jump in. Let's see what's coming your way. Okay, I feel like there's going to be like, there's actually a whale surfacing here. It can be representative of a money coming your way or someone who actually have access to lots of money. Maybe an in angel investor can be like a family member who actually uh, is wealthy and going to give you a hand. That can be an indication of that, but they are surfacing here. They're not really showing fully. So this might be coming out of nowhere unexpectedly, maybe connecting with you and give you the support that you need uh, in your situation. I also want to get back into your cup and let's see what's coming for that one. I have, okay, there's an eye on you. There's a chunk of money also visible and the, there is a hilltop that you're climbing up with a person. This can be a new person appearing in your life because I see like a romantic encounter with a person here. So this can be uh, someone that you're manifesting already, a soulmate connection. And uh, because there's a hilltop, um, this can also be indication of a chunk of money as well. Maybe this person is very wealthy. Also, um, maybe you have been through some challenges and they are coming to an end. And um, at the end of that challenges, challenging times, you're going to be finding this person, this connection is forming. Okay. I want to put this over here because I found this on the street. Actually, I found it right by my sister's house. She's like, actually, she's the moon part of this channel. Her name is Moon. Uh, mine is like first divine light and she's the first moon and I found this last week and I left it in her yard and I said you know what if anybody doesn't pick up I'll pick it up and this was it there so I picked it up so I want to put it on my collection of trinkets right here let's see okay maybe this has a meaning for you this is actually um we call it castle in Turkish but I don't know the original name of this this character in uh, the chest okay um so maybe it's time for you to just you know uh, have some defense in a situation but not in um reactive way but in like just drawing your boundaries that can be a sign for that and um yeah let's see i see here a bat showing up okay usually when i see an owl i say because they are nocturnal but this time i have a bat here and that's also a nocturnal animal the difference is this one actually um, as far as I know, lives on blood. This can be someone who's actually doing sneaky things behind you, maybe acting in the dark and not revealing things to you. But what's going to happen is very recently, they're going to be, their light is going to be shining upon them. Whatever that they're doing is actually be revealed. I even see someone here coming with a lantern. You're a Virgo, my beautifuls. You're a Virgo, you're a hermit. You have the hermit energy. You have the lantern in your hand. But the hermit mode doesn't mean that you always have to go back into your shell. This can is actually like your meditation and prayer, maybe in like being in your own energy is actually going to help you manifest this beautiful light so you can actually see what this person's true intentions. Okay, I see this person might have like a letter S maybe in their name. There's a letter on their name here. Let me see what is this maybe n and number nine is also showing can be also indication of maybe their birthdays or something like that i see you're actually having a meeting with someone and um this is something long overdue that you have been thinking you have been contemplating this person can be coming on the back of like a turtle which indicates the slowness the character 
of the slowness of this character can also be someone that you have like a housing thing going on maybe a landlord or maybe someone that you have purchased the land together this uh, because the turtles carry their houses on their back this actually represents that this person uh, might also have their house like they they um are maybe on that end they have like a house that you have together um i know this is too far-fetched but you can interpret it however it applies to your situation as well they're traveling and coming towards you and you're gonna have a conversation with them right after the conversation there's a path opening and there's a seahorse waiting for you at the end of this path seahorses represent someone male very caring loving and nurturing and protective male that is that wants to take care of you that takes care of you covers your back all the time and this person is going to be like after you deal with the situation they're going to be giving you a beautiful support that you need okay i see a monkey here so very soon after that there's going to be a very articulate person is going to be showing up and you're going to have a beautiful connection with this one but this also can be representative of your speaking skills your communication skills your part like part partnership friendship skills come into play which you will actually form this uh, characteristic and you're standing on a chunk of money I'm gonna put this in the career side this can be in your work in your career maybe you're gonna have an opportunity to express your uh, articulate side and which will actually connect people together maybe give you more <clears throat> upper hand in your work and you can actually connect and communicate with people the strategies that you have which will bring you up on a higher position in an upper position and this v this looks like the tail and the head which forms a v which is actually the victory that is showing up there's a light shining upon this v so it's basically going to be a victorious moment happening for you your skill set is going to put you in a higher position somebody also behind here observing you what you're doing and this person might have a cat and or has the cat energy so someone who's actually laid back very good with creation let's put it that way they are they can be also in a higher power like a wise council they're actually watching over you and giving you extra support I see here there is someone this reminds me like with a beard and he's wearing a crown this reminds me like um eastern person doesn't have to be but uh this person looks like they're in distress so you might receive some calls and maybe even like if you have any relatives um you might receive someone who's in need um you might they might ask for help from you and uh, i see legal paper appearing here yes you might give the hand they need um and also but that's gonna happen very soon you're gonna have this legal paper appearing and you're gonna give them the help and then move on from that it's not going to last this uh, situation in your life for a very long time i see a hill here and i told you there is a hill here this first hill can be about your emotions and love life and that you're going to be overcoming that and the second one can be challenging challenges that you're going to be facing at work but that's going to be also passing really soon because there's a letter a here also there's an arch so you're crossing over to a new dimension a new energy you're creating something that is actually um, much different and the, the direction is like in a higher higher perspective in a higher situation than wherever you are we see the head of here the giraffe which actually i pulled the card from taurus so as the as a symbol so if you have Taurus in your chart, go ahead and watch that. This can be your perspective. Maybe you are actually going to be raising on a higher level to see the things in your life on a higher position, which will give you a different perspective in your situation. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind and let's see what the answer is going to be. Yes, I see you here blessing someone someone younger than you so you might people might come to you with, for guidance and your desire is actually coming so fast it doesn't really have no time at all and um maybe somebody's going to be showing up and asking for guidance from you i see here letter r uh, can mean their first name or the last name and this you're going to be blessing this person with your energies there is a chunk of money like i saw in your cup there is actually you want to manifest this money you're working towards it i see someone with a graduation cap this can be a new 
um, expansion in your life, new education. I don't know if you're starting a new school and maybe learn something to add your skill set. And there's a second desire you have coming in, merging with the first one you have already have here. And this also looks like a roof to me. So if you're planning to buy a new house, a new place, maybe this graduation is actually going to be the upgrade that is happening in your life, okay? And also can be uh, maybe like what popped into my head is like, if you are maybe in real estate, you want to learn these things and you want to maybe sell houses or rent places. And this can be this graduation cap can be your new skill set that you're putting onto your tool belt when it comes to real estate. OK, let's see. We have eight of cups here. You're walking away from something that doesn't serve you because this I cannot make this up. They just came together, just flew out of my hands. Two of cups, ace of pentacles. OK, new love, a perfect connection. A perfect friendship, partnership, love, again, can be something you love also. It doesn't have to be romantic. Coming in your way because right after you walk away from something that doesn't serve you anymore. And Ace of Pentacles representative of new money, new opportunity that uh, may be like a lucrative contract, something that you're going to be stepping into, which will bring you a, a source of income, a new source of income, even like um, uh, something small that you're going to start doing on the side will grow and become something huge. OK, we have the sea turtle. There you go. Conservation, make conscious choices. Let's see what the overall message for the sea turtle is. I usually interpret them as like buying a property, being the owner of a property. But this is more spiritual. It says make conscious choices. The sea turtle brings energies that support Mother Earth and keep her in balance. She lives a long life and can endure many changes, holding so much ancient earth wisdom and patience to impart to you if you choose to listen to her. The sea turtle brings deep feminine energy that helps nurture and be at peace with our path and our choices. All she asks is that we be mindful of how our choices impact the environment and our relationship with Mother Earth. She asks that you consider this planet in your path going forward, lay the foundation for change, slow down and think about your actions before you act. This is also a general message for you, like um, because Ace of Pentacles is the earth sign, earth uh, energies, means that like slow acting, like thinking, considering, analyzing, and then acting, rather than like the Aries, the Sagittarius, the fire energy, they just burn real quick. Uh, they do maybe even impulsive things. Instead of that, just do consider your things in a slower pace and just analyze your your new uh, the steps that you're going to be taking. We have an antelope here. It says consider where you are happy on your current path. And this can be also your uh, career. We have the unfinished story here. So I'm not saying just uh, when I see these kind of messages, uh, I don't see like, uh, OK, don't just leave whatever you're doing and just go to a new thing. That's not the case, uh, because there is always a lesson, always a completion, always a, like a connection that you have in your current situation that you need to complete. So unfinished story is actually approving that. So this says uh, maybe self-criticism and your bruised ego and unnecessary dramas. OK. And maybe some things are not really working the way you want them to be. You feel heartbreaks and loss. And maybe there are some rejections on the areas that you're trying to establish things. And um, you are not your story. Uh, this is a part of you just telling the story, okay? Uh, and this might be, there might be some fear about the steps that you want to take further down. But the unfinished story is telling you just, you know, be aware of that there is something there is a narrative happening and um just be aware of that path that narrative that's not giving you happiness and maybe it's time to just push that aside a little bit because that's not who you are that's a part of you okay and uh that's not the totality of who you are all right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye